Good morning. <laughs> ago I talked about taking cold showers and the benefits of a cold shower on my Instagram for like a management Monday tip and I was thinking that I gave that tip without actually doing it myself I'm not saying I've never taken a cold shower before but it's not something that I do on a regular and I think it's also because I never take morning showers I'm a night shower kind of person but this morning I'm like feeling the need to take a shower so I was thinking I should take a cold shower <laughs> by the way I'm wearing my rubber bands on my Invisalign this is what they look like I'm supposed to wear them at night it's to help correct my bite since my jaw is all over the place as you know I broke my jaw but I am about to go take a cold shower and I will let y'all know how it goes and what it feels like and if I get that natural boost of energy after so I'll be back Okay, that really wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> it was actually kind of fun. So I will say I should have recorded it. Like as I was in there, I was like, I should have recorded my reaction because it was actually kind of funny. So I get in there and my first reaction, of course, is, oh my God, oh my God, it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> but I realized that if I just like let myself handle it and like start washing myself, I got warm. The only time that it would get hard is like the second that I would like turn to my back for an example and like I'd let the water fall on my back. It was automatically cold and then when I went back, it was automatically cold. But if you gave it like three seconds to kick in, your body just automatically gets warm. And I know that cold showers help with blood circulation. So I wonder if that's what, I wonder if that was what was happening. I know there's a lot of benefits to cold showers. I will pop them up right here. Once I got warm and I finished showering, I got like instant giggles. I was just like laughing. So I was like, that really wasn't that hard. And for some reason I just felt the need to laugh. And it was like a very genuine laugh. Like I bet you my neighbors probably like, what's that girl doing over there? But. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready. I need to go to the grocery store. And by the way, y'all, it is 27 degrees outside. I've been stuck at home for the past few days because there has been major sleet everywhere in Dallas, which is super dangerous to drive in. I had to cancel my therapy appointment, my consultation appointments, doctor's appointments, because I was not risking driving in these weather conditions. I follow this Instagram that shows like what's going on in Dallas at all times, and there has just been accident after accident after accident it's really scary so I've been avoiding driving but it's gone to the point now where I ran out of my breakfast options and <laughs> I just I, I I'm willing I'm willing to go to the grocery store it's not that far so I want to take y'all along with me and let's pray that the streets are slowly starting to dry up the sun has come out today and apparently it's supposed to, the weather is supposed to go up a little bit to like 35 degrees, I think. That's how you want to get in my car. All right, let me get ready. I love how it looks like it's like 70 and sunny, but it's 31 degrees. Oh, there's icicles on my car. Oh my gosh, look. Are you seeing this? There's ice. Oh, oh my gosh. Watch my car doors be shut, frozen shut. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. So they were shut. They were frozen shut yesterday, so I was scared that that was going to happen. That's actually why I didn't drive yesterday, because I came out here to test it, and my car doors were literally frozen shut. So I'm going to let my car run for like 10 minutes before I start, just because I haven't turned it on in like three days, and it's below freezing, so BRB. Wait, I have to show you my mom's car. So my mom's been out of town for a week, so it hasn't been turned on this entire time. <laughs> Look at the size of these icicles. Hold on. Are you seeing this? 
It's touching the floor. On to Whole Foods we go. <laughs> So I realized that I look a little funny, especially wearing a coat that is meant for severe winters, but I guess it, <laughs> I got so many looks at the store, like I was some psycho, like dressed in a winter coat in 60 degrees or something, even though it's literally, okay, it's warm, okay, it's warm down to 40 degrees now, but still, 40 is cold. Listen, I'm not from here. I don't, I'm not used to cold weather. I, it is what it is, you know? So I got my goodies. I got Patches some sweet potato because apparently her new food is sweet potato, which I actually used to give it to her when she was younger and she like liked it and stopped eating it. Then she moved on to like rice and chicken and now she's just really liking chicken and sweet potatoes and apparently hates carrots. Like she will literally eat everything on her plate and won't touch the carrots. My car has now gone back down to 35 degrees and the weather app says 34 degrees. So it's, it's still cold, it's just above freezing. It's, it, I'm not crazy for wearing this jacket. I can't get that out of my head, I can't. You know what, no, I've accepted it, it's okay. I'm cold. I deserve to wear this jacket to stay warm. Also, I wanna say, now that it's been like an hour and a half since that cold shower, I realized that my day feels completely different. I have so much energy. I was like starving before I went to Whole Foods and I'm still hungry, but I feel like I could do my yoga before eating now so I can work out fasted which is really great to do every once in a while and just spike up your adrenaline and get your energy levels up so I think I'm gonna do yoga y'all want to do some yoga with me come on <laughs> see what breath work and yoga is all about I'll see you in the room I just finished my yoga session and I'm actually in the middle of a 30 day yoga challenge with Adrian on YouTube and the, this challenge mainly focuses on breath work so today as you saw in the beginning I learned the breath of fire apparently it's a Periana breathing technique I hope I'm saying that right but apparently it's a really popular form of breath work in yoga practice so for any yogis out there I'm sure you know what I'm talking about and it was definitely really different and made me laugh a little bit especially since i was recording it but it was just a really fast paced breathing and i i'm not quite sure what it's for i think it's to accelerate your heart rate but since you're also controlling your breath it'll help you throughout your workout and today's workout was mainly focused on core stability and just working out your core so i will say the workout in general wasn't that difficult, but I think that's because I work out to begin with, but it was still a good workout because it was a slow burn. I always forget how much slow burns actually work and how much they hurt. It reminds me of Pilates form workouts. Yoga always makes me feel more present in the moment and in tune with myself. I don't know why I ever get away from it. Maybe I do one that's a little bit too difficult for me or I do it too much that I over I overdo it, but 
Yoga is a really good practice for anyone out there. You don't have to be super athletic. You don't even have to be athletic. There's different forms and varieties of yoga. Adrian is amazing. Shout out to her. I don't even know her, but I love her. I've been working out with her for at least two years. I think I found her during and I did a few of her challenges then and I absolutely fell in love with her. She's quirky, she's funny, and she gives you different varieties of each workout. That way, if you're a beginner, it's not too difficult. And if you're an advanced yogi, it's a little you have a little more place and more room to freestyle. But yeah, so I'm gonna go make breakfast now, even though it's a little later than breakfast time, so maybe we'll call it lunch. But I'm gonna make some uh, old-fashioned rolled oats with my superfood mushroom powder and some berries, cacao nibs, and all that such. I will see y'all. What's today? I don't even know what today is. My days have been so off ever since I started looking for apartments. I just get it together, Crystal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make some breakfast and today is Friday. Today's Friday. Oh, in case if y'all aren't following me on Instagram, today is Film Friday, and I chose the movie called Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro. It's a 70s movie. It's really good. It's about a man who is... All right, y'all. I will see y'all next Wednesday. Bye.